home, I get your friends again. I, I know they can run that chainsaw, and he's going to tell you exactly what that is. Oh. Yeah, okay, well, this is one of my older ones. It's a, not even that good of a saw. It's a pull-in pro, 46cc, but it's the orange model. Um, they made different models. The yellow or the, the green, they were like a cheaper one. These were more like the pro series, and they, they work really good for what they cost. That, that, was a, that one like, was about a $240 saw. I just bought a still about seven years ago, just like it. So when I say my saw is old, this is a lot older than seven years. It's probably at least 14 years old. But my still that I just bought seven years ago was almost 500 bucks. And it's the same, same size saw, maybe a hair bigger. But uh, heck, I've gotten good luck, good use out of them. A couple little things go wrong with them, but I keep putting them back together again. This here, this part right here, this is an auto adjuster, and it's really a piece of crap. I've always had a little bit of problem with it here and there, but uh, I actually have a new one coming that don't have this. It just has the two adjustment, the two nuts. What happens is you can't get this tight enough. This just opens and it turns. And that allows you to actually take this cover off. Well, you can never get it tight enough. So, the normal one has two nuts that go right out through. And you can really tighten it down. So, that's, uh, I got that coming for it. So, this little part here, oh, it broke off. That little part there I just replaced. Let's see. Right there. That little part was $9. <laughs> From China, I can get this whole thing with that part for 50 cents less. So I ordered two of them. But I just replaced that and it just broke again. Now, one of the reasons probably why it broke is when I sharpen my saws, there's a kickback tab. Um, that I always cut a little bit more than what you're supposed to. And what happens is it kicks back a little more and it puts pressure on this. And since I can't bolt it down tight because you can't get to these bolt holes, it snaps that off. So that, that's only 
This is the first time I've run the saw. That's 15 minutes and I snapped another one off already. So now i got to wait for the other parts to come in. All right. What can you do to me? You oh, did that. You. Oh, I got Chana's chips on them. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 ho. I know, I never beat you about it. I'm just picking on him. He's picking. Now he's going to make me clean his wheelchair. No, I'm not. Yeah, you will. <laughs> I know you. <laughs> All right. Well, we didn't get the logs cut I wanted to cut, but that was a few. Um, I'll go grab another chainsaw and uh, go ahead and cut those logs that I really wanted to cut. See you guys tomorrow, folks. And uh, here, here's some of the windows. So this is only a little stack. There, there was, well, you saw the two videos that we were breaking windows. It came all the way out to, to almost the corner of the trailer there. That's how many windows were stacked there. And then there's still that whole pile over there. Again, we used a lot of them, reused a lot, but then they get picked down or get snow plowed into and get broken, then you got to throw them away from there. I have a, I had another pile out in my trailer that they're still good. Uh, we're gonna use them on a back porch some on my brother's house probably. Um, uh, they were off of my house and they're only single pane, but they're good for a porch, something that you don't heat in the winter. So. Anyway, we will get some of those in the garage for tomorrow because we're probably gonna be smashing them. So that's gonna be another video we're gonna do tomorrow. And maybe if my brother comes up, he can help us work on that cylinder a little bit. I got some sanding for Brandon to do on the cylinder. Uh, we already pulled it apart. And, uh, About a year ago. Well, yeah, well, no, we, we actually just ripped the cylinder apart. Um, I think it was on Friday, Thursday or Friday. And uh, we've actually rebuilt it twice. It might be a, there might have been some burrs in the cylinder that caused the O-rings to blow out of it. But then we found a nick inside the tube. And if it lines up with the backup ring and the O-ring, we'll never keep it together. So if this one don't work, we have to go find a new cylinder. And it's off a 69 backhoe, so you can't go buy a new one. Um, you have to find one and retrofit it to the machine. So that might be our next step. All right. All right, guys. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your support. If you want to check out my Facebook page, I'll put that down below. My Snapchat will be down there as well, and I'll see you guys very soon. Thank you for watching.